this is Joe Zikas from Yo Chicago. I'm in the southern part of Glencoe, starting at Grove Street on Woodlawn Avenue, heading east from the Skokie Country Club. This is a surprisingly affordable part of Glencoe where the median home price peaks out at about a million two. We're going to pause here for a look at 571 Woodlawn Avenue which sold a year ago in December for $694,200. It was on a 107 by 123 lot with six bedrooms, three and a half baths, and a two-car garage. A somewhat dated kitchen and a property tax bill in the mid-20s may have depressed the price. Falling prices have been a fact of life in Glencoe, as in much of the North Shore, during the past several years. A three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home at 544 Woodlawn, for example, sold for $740,000 in July of 2008 and resold three months ago for just six twenty nine five. dollars A little further east at 545 Woodlawn, a two-bedroom, bath-and-a-half home on a 50 by 140 lot sold in March of this year for $240,000. That's a price that would have had it snapped up in a heartbeat uh, as a teardown not that long ago. Teardowns, as you can see from the drive here, haven't been as much of a factor in this part of Glencoe as they have in some of the other stretches. Most of the homes along Woodlawn Avenue were built in the late 30s to early 50s, although the area has seen the occasional recent teardown. Recent sales have tended to cluster in the 600s and 700s, although sales have gone close to a million four for newer homes on larger lots. The attractions of the area are of course, Glencoe schools and the small town atmosphere that prevails throughout all of Glencoe. And in the case of Woodlawn Avenue, especially as you get further east, the proximity to uh, Winnetka's Hubbard Woods Shopping District and the Hubbard Woods Metro Station. The area is much closer to Hubbard Woods than it is to the Glencoe Metro Station. When I look at this area, I think of a recent visit to parts of central Evanston. This area has better schools, better proximity to the train. It's more walkable in its proximity to Hubbard Woods. And the prices here tend to be $100,000 to $200,000 less for similar homes. Worth taking a look at both areas, I would say. One way to look at the trade-off in commuting time is that Glencoe costs you 10 minutes more on the train and comparable areas in Evanston cost you 10 minutes more in getting to the train. Glencoe, of course, has far superior access to the Eden's Expressway if a car is your preferred commute. All Glencoe children attend the same uh, elementary, middle, and junior high schools in addition to New Trier High School so public school districts are not a factor in selecting a location in Glencoe. I'm signing off as we approach Green Bay Road and some of the multifamily development at that point.